I wanted to do a very short video at the end of this playlist on the comprehension paper. Now, I can't teach you how to do it. That's the one thing that you've got to get clear. Um, I'm, there's no point me working through any past comprehension papers either, uh, because the comprehension paper changes from year to year. It's on a completely different topic each time. Um, anything that you learn mathematically from one comprehension paper is very unlikely that you're going to be able to apply it to the next one. Okay, so in order to prepare for the comprehension paper, um, what I would suggest is that definitely, yes, work through some past papers. But that doesn't mean that um, you are working through those past papers to learn the maths. You're learning, you're going through those past papers to make sure that you can complete the paper in the time allowed. So think about the situation that you're in. Uh, you get into the exam room and you sit core four. That's an hour and a half paper. The core four paper gets taken away from you and then you get handed the comprehension paper. And by the time that all of the core fours have been taken in and all the comprehensions have been t uh, handed out, that's how much breathing time you have between those two exams. Now you have an hour. That's plenty enough time to read through the eight pages or so of the document that comes with the questions. Okay. Now, how you approach it is completely up to you. Personally, my suggestion, and this may not work for everybody, I would not read through the whole document. The reason is that by the time you've got halfway through, you're going to have forgotten what came first anyway. Okay, So I would suggest have a look at question one, see if it pinpoints a particular section of the document that you need to read, and that's the bit you read. You might want to read some of the preamble right at the start just to get your head around the situation, but there is no rush. You're going to be looking at five or six questions in total and you've got plenty of time to do it in. do it in. so don't panic about it it's um, a good test of knowledge um, they could test you on some trigonometry or uh, some exponentials or some logarithms some things that you've done in core 3 or core 4 but nothing too heavy it's likely to be something very different to what you would have looked at in either of those two papers. Okay, So you need to go back through some to determine your style and your approach. Are you going to read the whole thing first or are you going to read a little bit here, a little bit there, depending on the question that you're looking at? Okay? And make sure you can do it within the hour's time limit. So that's really all... I can suggest, okay, and really good luck.